Hello and welcome to this session in which we will discuss attestation engagement on management discussion and analysis, for short MDNA. Now this engagement is part of the clarifying standard for, on the statements on standards for attestation engagement. And management discussion and analysis is one of the subject matter that we can report on. We could have three level of service, examination, review, and agreed upon procedures. For management discussion and analysis, we can conduct an examination. We can, also, we can also conduct a review. And for an easy way to remember, why do we conduct an examination and a review? To think of management discussion and analysis as part of the historical financial statements. Think of them as part of the financial statement. Why? Because MDNA is part of the annual report. And the annual report is part of the historical financial statement or the historical financial statement is part of the annual report. Just like pro forma financial information, we can carry on an examination and we can carry a review. Why? Because also those are part of the historical. When we perform pro forma, we look, we look at the historical and make some adjustments. Same thing with MDNA. It's based on historical financial statements. So maybe this is an easy way to remember. Now notice what I want you to notice is this. You can perform examination on practically everything and you're going to see examination of SOC. It's going to be also yes. So for an examination, we can do practically everything. Okay, just so an easy way to remember. Now, what's MDNA? What's management discussion and analysis? We looked at in, in a separate recording. We talked about MDNA, but let's do a quick review. Once again, it's part of the annual report, 10K. And because of that, it's an easy way for you to remember it could be an examination or a review. Why? Because we are dealing with historical financial statement. By the way, it's mandated by the SEC to have MDNA. But what is it? It's basically management telling users about themselves in their own words. Now, they're, they're, they're narrating your sto their story. They're using the numbers from the financial statements, but they are telling you the story. It's a little bit flexible on how you tell the story. However, the numbers has to be derived from the financial statement. They're simply put, they're explaining the numbers, explaining themselves. They could have opinion. They could have some soft data. They could have estimates. They could have risks. But everything has to be derived and aligned with the historical financial statements. For MDNA, there are three aspects of the report and we have to talk about, basically as required by the SEC, whether those trends are favorable or unfavorable. Liquidity and capital resources, simply put, they need to talk about their cash flows and their long-term assets. They need to discuss changes in financial condition. And basically what discussion is, is just talk about what do they think, what's happening to their financial condition, and they need to discuss the results of the operation, which is profitability. And the best way is to take a look at an MDNA of your favorite company, look at their annual report, and they will have an MDNA. Now, the MDNA may also discuss other things like inflation, changing prices, critical accounting policies, many other things, such, for example, these days companies will discuss COVID and the risk of COVID on their business and any various risks. The best way is to look at, at an actual MDNA just to get a feeling and choose your favorite company, whether it's Amazon, Apple, or any other company. Before we proceed any further, I have a public announcement about my company, FarhatLectures.com. Farhat Accounting Lectures is a supplemental educational tool that's gonna help you with your CPA exam preparation as well as your accounting courses. My CPA material is aligned with your CPA review course such as Becker, Roger, Wiley, Gleam, Miles. My accounting courses are aligned with your accounting courses broken down by chapter and topics. My resources consist of lectures, multiple choice questions, true false questions, as well as exercises. Go ahead, start your free trial today. No obligation, no credit card required. Now, from an attestation perspective, we have to understand that the auditor must have audited the financial statement for the most recent period to issue either an examination report or a review. So the auditor will be engaged to issue either an examination or a review. What is an examination? What is a review? We should know this by now if you're following my uh, attestation engagement lectures. Examination is to express a positive opinion. What is a positive opinion? The positive opinion is the highest level of opinion. It's basically, an, they're basically auditing the, ATAS, the MDNA. What do they say in a positive opinion? Well, they express a positive opinion whether MDNA include the elements required by the SEC. 
what are the elements required by the SEC? I just showed you on the prior slide, the financial condition, liquidity, capital resources, discussion of changes in financial conditions, and results of operation. Simply put, are we saying they do include it? Positive opinion. They also discuss that historical amount accurately der derived from the financial statements. That's important. And I mentioned this implicitly when I was discussing MDNA. All the figures mentioned in the MDNA report has to be derived from the financial statements because the MDNA is talking about the company's performance. The company's performance is reflected in the financial statement. So if your sales increase by 10% from year one to year two, you cannot say in the MDNA that sales increase by 15 because that's not derived from the financial statements. Also, you have to express a positive opinion that the underlying information and assumption provide a reasonable basis for the disclosure within MDNA. So all the assumptions, all the information that you are mentioning in, in, the M, in MDNA provide a reasonable basis for the disclosure. So whatever you are saying are correct or accurate in a sense they are reasonable. Now let's talk about a review. A review express a negative opinion, a negative assurance as to whether there is a reason to believe or nothing came to our attention that what well negative negative assurance basically saying nothing came to our attention to indicate they did not include the mdna does not include the elements required by the sec in an examination you would provide the positive assurance that they did include them in a review you would say nothing came to my attention they did not include them about whether the amount is historically whether the amount listed are accurately derived from the financial statements, you would say, we don't have a reason to believe that the, the amount not accurately derived. In an examination, we would say the historical amount accurately derived from the financial statement. In a review, we'd say we have no reason to believe they are not. Same concept for the underlying information and assumption. We would say the underlying information and assumption, we, we're not aware that they don't provide reasonable basis for the disclosure. So this is what negative assurance is. So notice I put them side by side to kind of show you in a positive assurance, you're saying that they did, that they include them, the amount are derived from the financial statements and the underlying assumptions provide a reasonable basis for the disclosure. In a review, discussing all those elements, but you're saying you are not aware that they did not include them. You don't say they include them, you're, you, you say we're not aware. Okay, so just make sure you know the difference how to express a negative review. There are four assumptions that we need to be aware of under examination when, you, when we are dealing with MDNA. The first one is occurrence. And what is the assertion of occurrence? It means the event that they mentioned in the MDNA actually occurred. That's what we are concerned about. That they, whatever they mentioned, that it actually occurred. Completeness of the explanation. When they explain a topic, you want to make sure description or the event that they are describing is complete. They're not keeping stuff out that could be misleading that they complete the description about their trend and revenues their trend and cash flows consistency with the financial statement basically the amounts are derived from the historical financial statement well we have to basically examine this assertion amount reported are accurately derived from the financial statement and the fourth is presentation and disclosure basically the information in NDM NDNA is properly classified and described you know, whatever that classification is, it's in the proper and under the proper category. So the presentation and the disclosure is properly there. Now, the best way to look at this is to look at a report just to see what a report for MDNA would look like. What should you do now? Go to Farhat Lectures and work MCQs. That's going to help you understand this concept better. You might have a question or two about attestation engagement. And who knows, you may, it, might, it might be about MDNA. In my opinion, those are easy questions. Don't lose points over them. Good luck, study hard, and of course, stay safe.